Good evening and welcome to a virtual celebration of the SUNY Erie class of 2021. Thank you for taking the time to join us to honor this year's graduates. I'm Denise Wilson, chairwoman of the SUNY Erie Board of Trustees. It's hard to believe it's been a year since we've moved to a virtual world. I can't imagine any of us thought that we would be continuing this virtual path for an entire year. Yet, here we are. The class of 2021 is surely one of the most resilient classes to graduate from this college in our 75 year history. Some of you haven't been on our campuses during this academic year, but somehow you made it to this moment. You are an inspiration to us. Through all of the continued uncertainty, you have found a way to keep going. Thank you for your dedication to completing your studies. Congratulations to the SUNY Erie class of 2021. We look forward to celebrating your future success. It goes without saying that my fellow trustees, as well as the faculty and staff of SUNY Erie, continue to be your biggest cheerleaders. Among them is the college's interim president. When he returned to lead SUNY Erie last July, it's unlikely interim president Bill Reuter could foresee what this year would look like. Yet through it all, he has been steadfast in his efforts to keep SUNY Erie moving forward. Interim President Reuter joins us now to share a few words to the class of 2021. Thank you, Chairwoman Wilson, and welcome to all of you as we celebrate the SUNY Erie class of 2021. Since my return to SUNY Erie last summer, I am struck by just how dedicated the students of this college are to your studies to your families, to your future careers, and to this community. In our 75 year history, there has never been a year quite like this one. Despite the trying times we have faced, you have found the motivation to remain engaged with your courses. Some of you have not been on campus this year, but still you persisted to make it to this day. You have a world of opportunities ahead of you, some of you will pursue your four-year degree, while others will enter the workforce and embark directly on the path to a career. Whichever path you choose, we are proud that you chose SUNY Erie to help prepare you for your next steps. I trust that your time at SUNY Erie will pave the way toward the life and career you hope to achieve. You deserve every good thing that comes your way. We will be forever honored to have been a part of your journey. My hope is that you never stop learning and that you challenge yourselves to be the best that you can be. Your work sets an example not only for future graduating classes, but also for future generations of your families. Congratulations again to each and every one of you. We are proud to welcome you to the ranks of SUNY Erie alumni, and we look forward to your alumni story becoming a part of the SUNY Erie legacy. Thank you, Interim President Reuter, for your leadership and dedication to SUNY Erie and our students. We would not be here without you. In addition to our Interim President and the Board of Trustees, there are many individuals from the community who are also thrilled to celebrate your accomplishments. Some of those individuals have taken a few moments to share a message with all of you. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, and first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors who helped you make it here today. Surely a year ago when the class of 2020 was denied their rite of passage with an in-person graduation, you thought by the time you graduate, the pandemic would be gone and life would be back to normal, right? Well, here we are. Yet despite enduring uncertainty and setbacks for more than a year of COVID, you still met the rigorous academic standards required to earn a diploma from a great New York State institution. But far more than the academics that every class before you and those that follow have to meet, your education, particularly since 2020, has been utterly unique. Each of you are now qualified to teach a master class in adaptability essential life skills and resiliency. Not sure? Just hear me out. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, 
and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others in the class of 2021 across the nation in a shared moment in history that will define a generation. And I guarantee that at your 50th reunion, you'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, how you missed your classmates and your professors, how you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness, coupled with compassion and a newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life, from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All of this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. You may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020-2021 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws your way. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have the potential to be a generation that is held in esteem and awe for the grit and spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. These traits will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet one of unlimited possibility. Once you walk across the virtual stage, you'll be entering a whole new era one where we have far more questions than answers. But as a college-educated adult, you will now be called upon to help shape the answers to the burning questions of the day. Like how do we eradicate racial and social injustice? How do we foster more inclusivity for marginalized communities? How will we meet the challenge of climate change? How do we address the future of work and workplaces? How do we solve the health care inequities and better prepare for the next viruses that are sure to come? You are needed to help define our post-pandemic world and to answer these questions. Now, our country is turning to you, our next generation, for inspiration and hope as you build your own legacy and strive toward a more just, civil, and inclusive society. So more than just wearing a cap and tassel on your head, you also now wear the weight of these responsibilities on your shoulders. Class of 2021, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift, more and more are vaccinated, and we venture out from this period of darkness. Use your newly acquired education as the launch pad to lift off from and soar high. Use your passion and your most recent experiences to help shape our post-pandemic society into one that promotes generosity love and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now. And your fellow New Yorkers are counting on you to help lead the way. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Hello, SUNY Erie Community College. This is Senator Chuck Schumer. And it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Congratulations. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person as I do almost every year, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this graduation day. You are special, and I wouldn't want to miss congratulating you, COVID or not. First, a quick word to the parents. As a parent myself, I know how hard it is to raise kids these days and how much you've invested in them, but it all pays off as you watch your son or daughter receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And now to the class of 2021. You know, everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been, but certainly not in the way you expected. With COVID affecting our nation's health, our nation's economy, and your senior year, these have been unusual and difficult times. The challenges of this moment are truly unique but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact 
that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. We have a long way to go, but for the first time in more than a year, we can start to think about what it will be like to return to normal. We're beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel, thanks to safe and highly effective vaccines. They're nothing short of a medical miracle, and I'm proud to have helped lead the way in Congress by prioritizing vaccine research, production, and most of all, distribution, so that everyone who wants a vaccine can now get one. And as Senate Majority Leader, the first ever from New York, I worked hard to pass the American Rescue Plan, which is putting money in the pockets of people and small businesses who have been hurt by this crisis and helping our society recover in so many different ways. And now I'm pushing President Biden to forgive $50,000 in student loans, a crushing burden for millions of college graduates around the nation. With a flick of a pen, he could wipe this debt clean and create a brighter future for so many people, including many of you. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain. Many of you may be not sure of what you're going to do next, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things in a better way. It's natural to fear the unknown. I'm sure many of you do right now. But don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. They're out there. You just have to keep your eyes open to them. And don't forget, you have incredible assets, a college degree from a great institution, and loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic, and we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. This past year's year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society. And we just can't go back to the way things used to be. We must make our society better, and we know we will, because you are our future leaders, and we have faith in you. So to SUNY Erie class of 2021, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. As the leader of our county, I don't think there is anyone more supportive of our college and our students than Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars. County Executive Polenkars joins us now to share his congratulations to this year's graduating class. Hi, it's Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars congratulating the SUNY Erie class of 2021. As you all know, this past year has been one of the most difficult ones of our lives, and I know your class had to go through something that no other class had to at SUNY Erie before. So I want to congratulate you on graduation and thank you for your commitment to work hard during this past difficult year so that you could reach this very important day. On behalf of the people of Erie County, congratulations on this important, significant achievement in your life. Thank you for your commitment and fortitude to reaching this day, and we welcome you into the SUNY Erie alumni family. I wish you all good success in the future. Take care, be safe and well. Thank you, County Executive Polenkars, for those inspiring sentiments. As the leader of the State University of New York, no one embodies the spirit of SUNY students better than Chancellor James Malatras. The Chancellor has prepared a special message for SUNY graduates across the state, and we are happy to share that message with you. To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning. You made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all. 
and I know it hasn't been easy, but today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021, the grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who was creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhaus from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosroth of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT Service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. And Omar Guy, who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life. And I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor Merlatras, for those inspiring words. Now it's time to honor some of our graduates for their outstanding achievements this past year. Tonight's student award presentations will be led by our SUNY Erie's Provost and Executive Vice President, Dr. Douglas Scheidt. Now it's time to honor some of our graduates for their outstanding achievements this past year. Before we move to individual awards, I want to take a moment to thank all of our veteran students for their commitment to the safety and security of our country. We continue to be especially grateful to those students who were called to active duty in support of the COVID-19 crisis. The SUNY Erie Veterans Achievement Award is presented to a student veteran or reservist who has demonstrated strong academic and personal achievement. While selected for individual accomplishment, the recipient represents the long tradition of service to our community and nation of the almost 70,000 military affiliated students who have attended SUNY Erie through the years. The 2021 Veterans Achievement Award recipient is Danielle Nichols, a general studies major with a 4.0 cumulative GPA. Danielle joined the United States Coast Guard just a few months prior to the 9-11 attacks and immediately found herself protecting our great nation as a member of the Coast Guard Aviation. Entering college as a non-traditional student, she embraced the Coast Guard motto, Semper Paratus, always prepared, as she began her studies. She credits the discipline and devotion instilled by her service as the foundation for her success as a student, but more importantly, as a gold star wife who strives every day to set the example for her son of what hard work can achieve. Danielle will be transferring to the University at Buffalo to complete a business degree. Congratulations to Danielle Nichols, our 2021 SUNY Erie Veterans Achievement Award recipient. Thank you for your service. SUNY continually endeavors to recognize the efforts of students who combine academic excellence with significant contributions to the university community. They accomplish this through the SUNY Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence program. 
This year, this prestigious award has been bestowed upon SUNY Erie's Malika Sultanova. Malika is an international student from Tajikistan here on an F1 student visa. Enrolled in natural science, she carries a 3.78 GPA. Although English is not her primary language, she demonstrates academic excellence, on-campus engagement, and leadership, and possesses a positive can-do attitude. Congratulations to Malika Sultanova on her selection as a 2021 Chancellor's Award recipient. USA Today and Phi Theta Kappa, the sponsors of the All New York Academic Awards, recognize and encourage academic achievement. Phi Theta Kappa provides opportunities for individual growth and development by participating in honors, leadership, service, and fellowship programming. This year, seven SUNY Erie students were among the students chosen statewide to represent SUNY's two-year community college's best and brightest. The nominees are ranked and placed onto academic teams to compete for individual $5,000 scholarships or on a track to receive $100,000 in total scholarship awards. In addition to having these scholarship opportunities, team members are featured in USA Today and are presented at the annual convention of the American Association of Community Colleges. Aside from minimum enrollment and associate's degree path requirements, nominees are judged on criteria such as cumulative college GPA, minimum 3.5, leadership and service outside the classroom, a personal essay, and how well their academic record matches their stated career goals. This year's awardees are Allison P. Barnes, Katie Bars, Miliana Gajic, Travis Poling, Ahmad Ramez, Ricky Riley, and Sarah Sawicki. Congratulations to our 2021 Phi Theta Kappa Award winners. Congratulations once again to our 2021 Veterans, Chancellors, and Phi Theta Kappa Award winners. I'm honored to pass the podium to our interim president for the introduction of this evening's final award, the 2021 SUNY Erie President's Award. Thank you, Provost Scheidt. I am honored to present the final award of the evening, the SUNY Erie President's Medal to Malika Sultanova, a natural science graduate who has been accepted to the University of Buffalo's biotechnology program this fall. Malika has been described as a hardworking multitasker focused on the highest achievement possible. Malika credits the faculty and staff at SUNY Erie for helping her to become the best version of herself and for teaching her the skills to become a successful student. Outside of the classroom, Malika is the city campus student government president, as well as a volunteer for the Red Cross and Seven Cups, which is an on-demand online emotional wellness service that connects real people to real listeners through one-on-one -on -one chat sessions. Malika is also a 2021 SUNY Chancellor's Award recipient. Congratulations to Malika Sultanova, the 2021 SUNY Erie President's Award winner. Thank you, Dr. Scheidt and Interim President Reuter, and congratulations to this year's awardees. I am extremely proud to welcome back our Interim President to introduce this next segment, our culminating moment, honoring this year's graduates. Thank you, Chairwoman Wilson. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Congratulations on making it this far. Without further ado, it is my profound honor to present the SUNY Erie Class of 2021.
congratulations to the SUNY Erie class of 2021. No words can express the pride we feel for everything you have accomplished. I urge you to celebrate this moment, the moment that you became a college graduate. This moment may not be exactly what you hoped for, but understand it's definitely worth celebrating. Congratulations once again. We look forward to seeing you on campus in the near future as SUNY Erie alumni.